Looky, looky, back where we were however fucking long ago. So, uh, while we're here, guess what I'm gonna replace? This motherfucker, the CPS. Should be a lot easier to get to it from here. Maybe. <laughs> if you know what I'm saying. This right here. The CPS sensor for your crankshaft. This bad boy does stuff, and it's important. Yeah. I'm sure that taught you everything you ever needed to know. Two 11 millimeter bolts. Take the top one out first, then the bottom one, so that they don't fall into bad places. You can see the the bolt holes there and there. You basically gotta, you gotta you gotta snake a bunch of extensions through this hole and that hole. And you can either go uh, in front of or behind the cross member. Mm, it's a pain in the ass, but that's what my setup looks like. Wobbly dee wobble dee wobble. I don't know if my, uh, I'm pretty sure my old CPS was fine, but uh, since I have both the manifolds out, I'm going to install a new one, because when they go bad, it's not fun. Not at all. So yeah, you put it back in, you put the bolts in. You can thread them slowly from the top and then tighten them from underneath. That should be easy. Alright, there's the sensor. The bolts are hand tightened. You got to make sure, like when you're doing them from the top, you got to push them in real far. Because otherwise you'll just be spinning them in and they won't grab the threads. So uh, I hand tighten as much as I could. I'm going to get underneath, tighten them, and uh, CPS should be good to go. I'll hook it up when the rest of the engine is in place. Alright, there you are, one fully installed crank set, crankshaft position sensor. Oh man, that is a bitch. So hopefully that lasts me for a nice little while. Lovely. Good luck. Okay, so I was thinking about putting everything together again, but um, I accidentally stumbled upon this. I don't know what this is. We have temperature sensor for something. Uh, this goes to the um, O2 sensor, and then there's this thing. And uh, I touched it for a second, and that happened. I don't know if that's bad, but I think it's bad. But it does slide back on. I have no idea what this is, but uh, I'm guessing it's supposed to disconnect from here, not from there. Maybe I'll look at what that is first. Okay, so uh, new news. I found out this is a knock sensor. Um, they don't make this version anymore, so that means that this came when the truck was built in the factory. So I guess it needs to be changed anyway. But this is a knock sensor, and it detects when your engine is pinging and doing other terrible things that it shouldn't. And it tells the uh, computer to retard the engine timing so that your engine doesn't kill itself. That's important. So, uh, no one has these in stock, so I'd order it online. <sighs> so I guess I'll replace it. It's very expensive. It's fucking $70 for a little thing. But it's very tiny. There's a new model that supersedes this old version, and it's just a little ring. And then this is, it points out to the side a little bit. And it's same, it works the same as the original one. Or actually, supposedly better since this version was replaced with that one. Look what came in the mail today. Knock sensor. So this is what the newer version looks like. Offset head. This slides off. And then this part actually goes into the engine. Pretty simple. So. Mm -hmm. Put that on in there like so. Tighten that up. And then you just let the do down, dingle down, 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 down. Just like that. And you can put it whatever way you want. It doesn't fucking matter. And then the nut goes on. And the instructions recommend Loctite. I don't have any, so fuck them. 30 foot pounds. Yeah. The end.
So this is the proper way to drain the engine at least. There's a drain plug there, and this is a temperature sensor. And uh, I ordered this temperature sensor by accident the first time. So uh, I figured since I'm under here, I'll replace it. Catch pan. This thing was a royal bitch to get out. Beat that thing up with a hammer. Use some PB blaster. Beat it with a hammer some more. Beat the shit out of it. And uh, eventually it'll come out. This is what that plug looks like. It's pretty small. It's a little corroded. You take it out with a uh, 8 millimeter thingy dingy. It's a square. I don't know if it's 8 millimeter or 5 sixteenths. I tried both of them and they both seem to fit in there like almost perfectly. I don't know. I think the 8 millimeter was a little nicer. Okay, so new temperature sensor. I'm gonna put the uh, plug back in, then we can fill this back up with coolant. So hey, that's one new sensor for now. And there we go. Two new sensors, new temperature sensor and a new uh, knock sensor. Lovely. So I think now we can start putting shit back together again. All right, got some more sensors, mate. Right here, map sensor. We're gonna fuck it and put a new one in. So, uh, here's a new one. Kinda looks like this. And, uh, installed. Easy as pie. <clears throat> Don't order T Series. I got the wrong part twice in a row from Rock Auto. T Series is the cheap version of standard motor products. And sometimes they're cheap for a reason. So, uh, it's pretty simple. <sighs> You got one electrical connector, one vacuum line, and two bolts. Take this shit out, put the new one in, the end. I don't know if mine's broken or not, I'm just replacing it because I'm replacing everything. Ta -da! So have fun getting those uh, 7mm bolts out, that was really annoying. Baby tools for tiny fingers, yeah. So here's the old one. Good old General Motors. And here's a new one. Unmarked, motherfucker. So, yeah, you kind of just stick it back up in there like that, and then you're done. Yeah. Done. And just like that, the new one's installed. Yay! Don't forget the vacuum line, you dummy. It goes over here. Is there supposed to be another one at the top? I have no idea. All right, let's boot it up and see what it stands like. Before the map sensor. I don't notice a difference, do you? Actually, it sounds like it idles a little lower. Fucking hell, works for me. Fuck this shit. Ain't no pony boys around here. <laughs> 